Have you ever wanted to play a fighting game starring Chuck Norris where you go around beating the shit out of a plethora of bad guys? Well, in 1983, Zonix released that game for the Atari 2600, Chuck Norris Super Kicks. Your mission is to rescue an unnamed famous leader who's being held captive in a monastery by a group of assassins who go by the name Ninja. There are two main screens, the map screen which you'll use to navigate Chuck to the monastery and the fight scenes where you'll have to engage in battle with one of the ninja's minions when you get ambushed. You'll start out as a white belt and you'll rank your way up to black belt as you defeat more enemies. After white belt there's orange, green, purple, brown, and black. But you also have to battle the time limit. I guess the ninja clan will kill this leader guy if their demands aren't met in a certain amount of time or whatever. So you can't be lollygagging around. And if you walk off the path into the grass, the time limit will accelerate tremendously. So don't do any of that shit. Be careful where you walk. You don't have any lives to lose. If you get beat in a fight, you'll get backed up, so the time limit is really your life meter. Each time you move up a rank, you'll get some time added as well, so not all hope is lost if you're running low. The controls on the map screen are a bit clumsy, cause you walk much faster horizontally than you do vertically, and the hit detection with the grass could have been better. Sometimes you hit a fork in the road, so you'll choose one of the paths and fight some schmuck, but some of these paths lead to a barrier that you can't cross. So you've wasted time and have to go back and take another path. Worse yet, you'll get ambushed again, wasting more of your time. So part of beating this game isn't just mastering the moves, it's also a trial and error process of figuring out which paths to take. And the correct path is totally fucking random, so you're just taking wild guesses every time you play. The enemies have different techniques, so you'll want to follow a specific strategy when fighting them. I mean, it's not the deepest strategy in the world, after all it's Atari, but there are strategic elements. For example, the Yakuza warriors at the beginning will throw ninja stars at you and protect their upper body, so you want to attack low and put your forearm up to protect yourself from the stars. Each set of enemies brings something slightly different to the table, so you'll have to learn their techniques and develop a strategy to counter it. Or you can just look in the fucking manual as it describes each enemy's tendencies. But it turns out the manual isn't a cheat sheet, it's almost a necessity. It's not exactly obvious that these arm thrusts your enemies are pulling here are in fact their blocking motion. So reading the instructions to know that's what you're looking for is pretty important before playing. Otherwise you're just going to flail away and look like a jackass. Then there's the control situation. To punch, push the joystick up and press the fire button. To thrust kick, push the joystick down and press the fire button. To forearm block, push the joystick left or right and press the fire button. And to somersault kick, push the joystick left or right and press the fire button. Now, didn't the somersault kick's control sound a lot like the forearm block's controls? Yeah, that's because you push the same button combination to do both moves. Now, how the hell do you do that? Well, when you're a white belt at the beginning of the game, you don't know shit about fighting. Even Chuck Norris has to learn and practice his moves before becoming an expert, although for some reason he learns all of his techniques on the fly within a day on a mission to rescue a famous leader. Why the hell do they send in a white belt to save this guy? Oh well. The point is, you don't know how to do the somersault kick right away. But the problem is, once you get to the screen where you learn the somersault kick, you forget how to do the forearm block. Now obviously this is to compensate for the limitations of the controls, you can only do so much with a joystick and one button. But at this point you're used to avoiding the ninja stars with the forearm block. Now you have to adjust yourself to attacking with this button combination instead of defending. And you have to resort to dodging the stars instead of blocking them. This could be a pain in the ass, especially since the ninja stars are what you want to avoid more than anything else. Getting punched or kicked just knocks you on your ass, but getting hit with a star will send you back to the map screen and you have to take the path to where you get ambushed again. So yeah, you'll pretty much need to follow the manual to keep up with the changing of the controls too. The combat is pretty mediocre, but for the 2600 they did a decent job with it, especially when you compare it to that abortion karate. However, there are still gameplay issues, like the fact that you have to stand still to punch or kick because thrusting up or down on the joystick to get the attack off will stop you in your tracks. This makes it a bit awkward to position yourself in the right spot to land a hit, and the somersault kick will become your natural primary attack once you learn it. The others will seem very weak in comparison. 
The difficulty is pretty sound once you get the hang of the controls, but once you get to the final boss, it's a goddamn nightmare. You'll have to take out a shitload of ninjas, battling three of them at a time. And after taking out several of them, they'll utilize their true ninja skills and go stealth on you, disappearing and reappearing. And the more of them you take out, the longer they'll stay hidden away, to the point where monitoring them is completely impossible, and sheer luck is the only possible method of winning. Eventually, the license to use Chuck Norris's name had expired, and the game was resold as Kung Fu Super Kicks, similar to the Mike Tyson's Punch-Out situation. Chuck Norris Super Kicks, Kung Fu Super Kicks, whatever you want to call it, it's a relatively playable game, but there are too many issues that keep this game from being anything more than mediocre at best. By the way, I intentionally avoided using any Chuck Norris fact jokes in this review. That shit's old. Cause the eyes of the ranger are upon you. Any wrong you do, he's gonna see. When you're in Texas, look behind you. Cause that's where the ranger's gonna be.